Well, hello, YouTubers. This is Bob Hickman. It is so great to be back with all of you. Well, I've been getting all your letters. Thank you so very much for writing me. Um, you guys are the best. Okay, well, I'm going to work on some more letters here, so bear with me. Uh, but before we get into that, give me just a moment and let me attune to the spirit world. Okay, my spirit guide's here. He says hi to all of you. <laughs> okay, my first letter tonight uh, is for JJ Productions 10. Hi, Jordan. Um, I'm receiving a message from my guide, Rose, and she says she's going to be working with your pet rat and bringing some healing. So I want you to remember to ask Rose uh, to help you and to give you some guidance in the coming days as you're bringing this uh, rat into a better state of healing. She's going to be helping with that. So I do see the operation going well, and I do see the um, the pet surviving. Okay? But Rose is the one working with you. Thank you so very much. Okay, next letter. 90 bar, uh, excuse me, Nutty Bar 9. Um, you know, one of the things that's going on uh, right now around you is all of these people, you know, are behaving bad. They're teaching you how not to be. You are learning from them what you don't want to do in your life. So it's a lesson. Now it's a, it's a painful lesson. But you're getting wisdom. And that's one of the things I want you to remember. When you see people doing evil around you and succeeding, remember that evil, though they may look like they're succeeding long term, they're setting themselves backwards. You know, around you, I pick up November as a powerful month, and I do see you coming into a better place financially during that month. looks like some money's coming to you. And you have a spirit around you. It's named Seth. He's a very famous spirit, but he's going to be kind of leading and guiding you, and I want you to be uh, listening for his voice, okay? So watch the month of November. Thank you so much. All right, Josh Van de Wettering. Hi. You know, I liked your letter uh, about the Ouija board. You know, the Ouija board, uh, in my opinion, is a, is a neutral device. It's like a cell phone. You might want to think of the Ouija board as an I am, an instant messenger to the spirit world. Um, you know, and I don't see um, working with the Ouija as necessarily incompatible with any specific religion. Um, I feel that the Ouija is a device. Because we are spiritual beings, we have to remember we are spirits also. When we talk to each other on earth, that's spirit communication. So if somebody steps out of their body, the only difference is they just don't have a body. They're still people. So, um, no, the Ouija is not evil. It's not dangerous. Um, it is, you know, it can be dangerous in the sense that uh, you don't want to just open up to anybody. You want to have discernment and work with spirit guides. Um, by the way, also, yes, Ouija Mysteries does my book, which is called Ouija Mysteries, which is out, um, does teach um, how to use the, the Ouija board in a safe manner. It also gives instructions on crossing earthbound spirits. Okay? Hope that helps. Thank you for writing. Okay. Freestyle King. You know, I, um, I keep getting around you a lot of earthbound spirits, and I feel like there are a lot of souls being drawn to you because you've been rising in your vibration here in the last few months. And I want you to work on more regular meditation here. Now, you have a spirit guide around you named Horus, and he was an Egyptian priest. Um, he's named after the Egyptian god Horus, but it's actually a priest, not the god. Um, but the, the earthbound souls are looking to you to get them over to light. And I do feel in the coming months, um, you will have greater ability to kind of open that door between the worlds and take them over. Okay. Keep me posted. Thank you so much. Okay. XXX Tactics XXX. Um, yes, this is a good question. You write asking about can ghosts turn on stereos and iPods? Yes, they most certainly can. See, spirits and ghosts have electric, they're made of electrical energy. Inside of us, we're all electrical energy. So when a spirit or a ghost comes in contact with an electronic device, they can stimulate electrical energy and activate that. 
And oftentimes they do that to get our attention. So yes, that is, they can um, affect things. So spirits sometimes turn on lights, they can turn on iPods, stairs, just all of that. Okay? Thank you so much for writing. All right. The Riff Shaman. That's a great name. By the way, you know, around you I keep picking up, uh, there's a channel opening here around you. Um, and I feel that uh, you would have a stronger link with that channel in your writing. Um, you have a spirit guide also around you named Alex. And that's who you want to talk to and ask him to help you write. Um, yes, music is a good channel for you, but I also want you to explore writing as well, because I do see you receiving communications from the spirit world. Okay? Good luck with that. Let me know what you come up with. Thank you. Okay, let's see here. DW6 Empires. Yeah, you know, you are going to have a girlfriend. Don't worry. It's going to happen, but your timing is important because this isn't actually going to happen till uh, spring of 2011. It looks like it's around May. And I see a young girl coming here around you. She has kind of blondish brown, long hair. Her name starts with an S, so it may be Stacy or like Stephanie. Uh, but it looks like it's around May here. And I see you meeting her through school. It looks like some sort of school event here. Uh, where you meet or it's outdoors. It may be like at a, at a ball game or some sort of event like that. Um, as for spirit guides, Fletcher's asking me to tell you, he says that my guy Rose wants to work with you, okay, because you're going through a lot of changes right now. And Rose is coming in. So that is one of your guys is Rose. And if you don't know who she is, look at some of my other videos and you can learn about her, okay? Thank you so very much. Okay, Kay Lovely. Hi, hon. I want to tell you, you know, I'm getting a lot of spirit activity around you today. Um, your great-grandmother um, is coming around. And the reason you haven't been sensing her is they're telling me that she's moved to a new level in the spirit world. She's now working with disabled children. So this is something that she's being trained to do. So she's going to be serving as a guide. So it's not that she doesn't love you, but they've had her working a lot. Uh, but I do see her around you, and she's um, coming in around you to help raise your vibration here. Um, and you, I do see a stronger psychic link between you and her in the coming months, okay? But she's asking me to tell you, she said, I'm in the light, and I'm at peace. So she's sending uh, greetings also to your mother and your father, too, to let, her know, let them know she's okay. Okay? Thank you so much. All right, let's see. Mystic Peepers. Hi, Andrea. You know, um, I want to tell you, I keep getting around you a lot of spirit activity. And your grandfather uh, is around you right now. He's been bringing over your sister. I keep getting this mail here. And he says, I brought the sister over. Uh, he received her into the light, and she's okay now. Um, and she keeps talking. I keep hearing her as well. She, I've got two voices going. And she says, I'm okay. Please know I'm okay. She says, I'm looking after the children. And she's asking me to let you know that she has been visiting the children and that she's never going to forget them. It seems one of the kids, one of her children keeps saying, I feel like mom's forgotten me. So she has this, this fear. I believe it's a daughter, maybe. Um, but they keep saying, somebody's saying that they feel that they've been, she's forgotten. And she's asked me to bring the message She's not forgotten anybody, and she's with all of you, and she's okay. She did make it over, okay? God bless you, dear. Well, guys, I'm, I'm afraid that's all i got time for, but I'm so glad you, you came here today to Spirit Channel. And keep it here. We'll be having more videos coming soon, and next week I'll be sure to bring you another Messages from the Spirit World.